Today, we're taking a time machine trip, not to the future, but to the past. Buckle up, because we're hurtling back a staggering 10,000 years to a time when humanity was just starting to take its first steps on the path we know today. We're going to explore the Mesolithic era, a period often overshadowed, but brimming with fascinating details about our ancestors. The world was emerging from the grip of the last ice age. Glaciers were retreating, revealing vast plains and dense forests. Woolly mammoths roamed the land, alongside creatures long gone like the Irish elk. This is the stage where our story unfolds. Forget farming in cities. Life 10,000 years ago was all about survival. People lived in small nomadic bands, constantly on the move to find food. They were skilled hunters, using spears, bows, and cunning traps to take down prey. Gathering wild plants, berries, and nuts was another crucial part of their diet. Technology was basic, but effective. Stone tools were meticulously crafted for various tasks, from chopping wood to scraping hides. Bone needles allowed for rudimentary sewing, and fire, of course, played a vital role in warmth, cooking, and protection. Humans in this era had to work together in groups. Usually these nomadic bands consisted of 10 to 30 people. They all had to depend on each other for when they went hunting. They also had fears which influenced their lives. Imagine living alongside creatures like woolly mammoths, cave bears, and saber-toothed cats. Every hunting expedition, every trip to gather resources, could have turned into a desperate fight for survival. Even smaller predators, like wolves and hyenas, could have posed serious threats, especially to children or the elderly. With limited knowledge of agriculture and unreliable food sources, the fear of hunger would have been ever-present. Imagine the anxiety of not knowing if there would be enough food for the next day or the next season. Additionally, without modern medicine, even minor injuries or illnesses could become life-threatening further amplifying the fear of sickness and its potential consequences. The Mesolithic era witnessed dramatic climate changes, including massive ice ages and periods of intense flooding and drought. These unpredictable forces could have reshaped entire landscapes, making it difficult to find food and shelter, and instilling a constant fear of the unknown and uncontrollable power of nature. While cooperation was crucial for survival, Competition for resources and territorial disputes between different groups could have led to violence and intertribal conflict. The constant threat of raids and attacks would have created an atmosphere of fear and insecurity. Imagine trying to understand lightning, earthquakes, or even the changing seasons without scientific knowledge. These phenomena might have been attributed to angry spirits or powerful deities leading to a constant sense of unease and fear about the world around them. Without established religions or concepts of the afterlife, death presented a terrifying unknown. The finality of it, coupled with the lack of understanding about what lay beyond, could have been a source of immense fear and existential anxiety. In small, close-knit communities, social harmony was crucial. The fear of being ostracized, punished, or even banished for violating social norms or failing to fulfill one's role could have been a powerful source of anxiety. The pressure to conform and contribute to the group's survival added another layer of emotional vulnerability. There was a lot of things that humans back in this period feared. They depended a lot more on each other than we do today. But we began seeing a change in their hunter-gatherer lifestyle. At this time, there were some early signs of agriculture. For example, instead of simply gathering random edible plants, humans started showing preferences towards specific species with desired traits, like larger or tastier seeds. This selective pressure unknowingly encouraged the propagation of plants with those beneficial characteristics. Evidence suggests practices like fire stick farming where controlled burning encouraged the growth of desired plants or cleared land for planting. Additionally, some groups might have purposefully scattered desirable seeds in favorable locations. 
The development of pits and other storage facilities indicates efforts to preserve harvested seeds and grains for later consumption. This points towards a growing understanding of plant life cycles and the potential for longer-term food security. While domestication was still far off, some wild plant populations gradually started exhibiting minor morphological changes due to repeated human selection and harvesting, laying the groundwork for the more significant transformations seen in later agricultural development. It's important to remember that these early signs were not widespread or uniform. They represent diverse experimentation and adaptation across different regions and communities. However, they collectively signify a crucial period of transition where humans began interacting with plants in ways that eventually paved the way for the agricultural revolution. Directly accessing the belief systems of people 10,000 years ago is impossible. They left no written records of their inner thoughts and feelings. However, by examining archaeological evidence, including art, tools, and burial practices, we can make educated guesses about their potential belief systems. Here's what we know. Evidence suggests a belief in animism, where spirits or souls inhabited not only humans, but also animals, plants, and natural phenomena. Cave paintings depicting animals and nature scenes might be related to rituals or propitiation of these spirits. The prominence of animal imagery in art and tools could indicate totemism, where specific animals held spiritual significance for particular groups. Fertility symbols and figurines, often associated with female figures, are found across Mesolithic sites. This suggests a focus on ensuring the continuity of life and the group's survival. Ritual burials with grave goods imply beliefs in an afterlife or a spiritual journey after death. However, the specific nature of these beliefs remains unclear. It's crucial to remember these are interpretations based on incomplete evidence. The specific beliefs and practices varied greatly across regions and communities. But we do know that life was tough, focused on survival, with each day a new challenge. Let's see what a typical day might have looked like for a young person in a nomadic band. The sun rises, and our person wakes up in a simple shelter made from branches and hides. The morning air is smoky from the cooking fire, which also provides warmth. Around them, the band is already active. Hunters prepare their tools, women cook breakfast, and kids play. Survival is the main job. The hunters, including experienced adults, head out with spears and bows to hunt animals like deer or rabbits. Others, our person included, grab baskets and head into the forest to gather edible plants, berries, and mushrooms. Every bit of food counts. If the hunt goes well, there's time for other things. They might learn to make clothes from animal skins, passing down skills from older members. Kids play games related to hunting and gathering, practicing important skills for their future. As evening falls, the hunters return. The band sees them safely back, hopefully carrying food for everyone. Everyone gathers around the fire for warmth and connection. Elders tell stories and share knowledge, while music fills the air played on instruments made from natural materials. Looking up at the stars, our person closes their eyes, the day's experiences becoming memories. So, there you have it. A glimpse into life 10,000 years ago, a time far removed from our own, yet one that holds the key to understanding where we came from. The Mesolithic people, with their resilience, ingenuity, and cultural richness, continue to inspire and intrigue us today. If you like this video, then check out our last video, where we talked about peasant life in the Middle Ages. What aspects of Mesolithic life surprised you the most? What questions do you have about this era? Share your thoughts in the comments below, 
and don't forget to subscribe for more historical adventures.